Hello and welcome to Monday at It's Art Time with Rabbit Ego. I'm Jesse Craig, a.k.a. Rabbit Ego, creator of Charisma Kill Studios and webcomic projects and recently added tabletop role-playing games to my... What's that? Resume? Resume? Well, last week, Wednesday... We started working on... Oh, let me stop for just a minute. Speaking of tabletop role-playing games, we took Weird out to CoastCon 44 Saturday and ran three test plays of it. Actually, it was test plays all day long. It had a really, really good reception. Everyone wanted to play again. We had, uh, We actually had some repeat players throughout the day so um i'm just happy about that and i had to i had to let that go i had to, had to speak my mind on that one so all right so again last wednesday as far as our time we inked drew and inked a picture of felix grave and sweet dreams of man worms before we finished it i ended up adding spider monkey 11 onto his shoulder just because what the hell I didn't initially have plans to color this piece, but I decided, well, what the hell. So. Let's color. What the hell. So let's get it over to the artboard. So there you can see. There's the piece. As it were. When we left it. So our new layer. Let's name that layer. Even though we haven't named any of the other layers. Also. Uh, last stream we had some issues with the background music. Pretzel rocks. If you hear it skipping and making wacky noises. Let me know. Alright. Let's call it Colors. Well, what color should Felix Gray be? Well, I'll tell you. Felix Gray is gray. Um, let's just use Magic Wand Selector tool this time around. If it gives me any trouble, I'll switch it over to something. You know, let's pick the let's pick the gray from this green field. That are that would be nice. That's, yeah, that's nice. Then we can catch everything here. Let's get that neck in. That long old alien neck. All right. So only thing here showing is Felix hands. Oh. All right, so I'm down here on the hands, working those hands, working those alien hands. What is this thing? Hey. Felix's species had evolved their hands with elongated paths and the thumb, thumbs being next to closer to the elbow so it's almost like the entire forearm is articulated in a way same thing with the feet you can see it better down here with the feet Grab these toes while we're down here. You know, let's just use magic wand. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Toes. Toes. 
All right, I believe that is it for Felix's flesh. All of his skin there. Um, I may erase that. Since it was black and white, I filled all of his body uh, color in black and white. You know, that large chunk of black. I, I, I may... I thought about keeping it, but I may change it. Let me see how... Whoops. Let me see how everything goes. Nope, that's too much. Let's, let's go with that for now. And if we don't like it, you know what? We can always change it, right? The beauty of digital art. And speaking of, oh, while well, I've got some pictures I want to share with you at home, but I can't just yet. <clears throat> They're uh, pictures for weird, so they're horror related, and uh, I I really I really liked it when they came out, and I'm getting much better. I'm getting much better using the uh, digital means of drawing and inking, so which in a way is kind of sad because I don't have any physical artwork. But, it does save on time. Go ahead and give... make everything on the arm here this metalish sort of color and right now I'm just using the lasso I believe it's I think it's lasso Lasso select tool just to select large areas that I want to fill. Boop. that let's go back and choose select this blue that I was using and fill in down yonder here right there and you know let's go back to that lasso tool and grab it all up Do -do -do. <laughs> See, got a touch of gray I need to fill. You son of a. All right. There we go. Oh. Let's go ahead and catch around that <clears throat> alien crotch area.
fill that in. All right. Now I need to do something here. I'm going to have to. You know, I, I think I might just go ahead and. I might just bring this all the way out. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, so now I need a color for these. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, hey, Diamond, how's it going? How are you on this lovely Monday? Yeah, I might change that blue up, though. Um, generally in comics, you use blue. You know, use a lot of black inks for black and then hit it with blues or grays. All right, but let me click. Let's choose a color here. Hmm. About just a darker color. Let's try that. You ready for it tomorrow, Diamond? It's going to be a good one gonna be a good one I test played uh, I test played this one that we're gonna to run tomorrow at the convention Saturday and it ended up being the best one the best module it's called the reunion all right now let's get on to this uh, spider mug and business most of you may be familiar with Spider Monkey 12, who's got like banana spider colors. This is Spider Monkey 11. Why? Well, because he came before Spider Monkey 12. And he is brown, Rick. He was made with a brown recluse. So let's go ahead and grab some broom, as they say. Broom, I think. Broom, is that just. Is that French? I think so. Brune. See how that works. That might be a hair dark. Oh, it's gonna be pre-gens. pre generic characters, yep. There's no sense in there's no sense in making a you know unless a one shot is specifically designed for the current characters there's really no sense in bogging down everyone with new characters all the time uh oh And I'll also let you in on a secret. The reunion was actually the first ever weird module. Many, many, many years ago. And I revived it for the conventions because because it's pretty quick. Um, I don't know if I'm liking this color on Spider Monkey 11, but we'll keep it. Play with it some. The next Tuesday's one shot is going to be a good one, too. I was really, really happy with the response from Coast Con. Everyone really enjoyed it. Or they were faking it really well. Uh, 
All right. I'm going to go transparency now so I can just... Yeah, now I just gotta finish it. Oh. The artwork is getting faster. I'm getting much faster at the artwork side of it, so. It's just taking me a long time to get back into the saddle of doing art since from being out, from doing it for so long. Also, we're going to have a full house tomorrow. All five. All five character slots have been filled. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We got some got diamonds going to be playing. We got uh, Gina is going to play. Gina was the last to sign up. She seems excited for it. And then Unknown Human. I'm not sure exactly who Unknown Human is. I believe Unknown Human is new. To the United Venture Company. Two Wolf. Two Wolf Designs will be playing. Um, yeah, we will leave it now. I feel like I'm leaving somebody out. That might be it. Sam! Sam! That's right. Sam. Damn. Diamond, you play with Sam. I believe he plays the monk in your the D and D game you guys play. Yep, that's him. Oh, I think it's gonna be great. can't remember what color let's go red why not let's do red for spider monkey's eye spider monkey 11's eyes he is supposed to have a a touch of as mermaid man would say evil Mermaid Man, a.k.a. Ernest Borgnine.
<clears throat> I might come back. I might come back on Felix's neck to put some of this metallic color, like the uh, the clothes are extending up his neck slightly. But let us finish up Spider Monkey Twelve. Eleven. Damn it. Well, whoopsie damn do. I screwed that up. It's alright. It can be fixed. It's not exactly clear whether they even truly exist or could be there yet. in the physical universe. Could just undo the shit so we don't jack it up. Working on Spider Monkey's, uh, I know it doesn't look like a violin, but it's supposed to be a violin. Upside down, stylized violin. Symbol on his chest. Not exactly a violin, but the, the violin uh, shape that's on a brown recluse. An exaggerated version of one, of course. Uh, let's see. Is there enough? Is there enough on Spider Monkey? Hmm. I might come back and you know I have the tr I have transparency lock on, so I could Let's see how this looks. Does that look a little better? Some highlight. Just a touch of highlight. Running along the tail here now. Let's see. Looks a little better. I'll have to do that with Mr. Gray as well. So. However, I should have put the damn shadows in first so let me do that oh we're making really good time on this really good time i'm happy i'm really ecstatic about the speed of my art picking up because that's been that's been a major having artwork for the weird book has been a major setback but pulling it off Grab a little more dark. Just a little, just a little more dark.
All right, there is Mr. Gray. Oh, we need to do the rest of his little fleshy parts as well. Not that anything on Mr. Gray is little, I suppose. Down here on the feet now. We might be wrapping this one up before the before the hour. Alright, let me grab. Do I want it that light? Let's go this way. Alright. Touch there, little touch there, there, there. We shrink the brush a little bit. Yeah. Too much? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I'm going in with white. A light spray of white in the blue area. I mean, open up that brush just a little more so it's not so hard. Get a softer light going. All right, let's bring that beat back. Now we can carry it down on these metal parts as well. Whoa, not too far now. Come on. These metallic like parts, which I'm sure they are metal. Really doing it. We're getting it done pretty fast here. trick I learned from Matt Collum actually Matt his old high school friend we did some work on cyborg uh god Jesus I can't remember cyborg uh cyborg fairy prince's vice cop that was the comic use this technique I mean others use this technique too but I didn't really think about it until I saw him doing it put some hard hard light in there and he was much better at utilizing this technique than I am Always give credit where credit is due. Oh wow, speaking of. Speaking of highlights, we need to do. We'll 
Felix's eyes. I honestly don't remember what color. We'll go with green because I like that in the last. I, I might change it though. Let me let's try purple in this one. The last time he showed him in the comic, his eyes were reflecting <coughs> green from a uh, computer monitor. So, and then I said, "And let's see how they look purple." And then I just kept going with green. So green is green is what it's going to be universe has spoken little Bob Ross happy mistakes happy mistakes all right uh, I'm still not 100% fan of these colors for spider monkey here but I did want him to be kind of in the shadows, so. I don't know. What's the prognosis? Well, I tell you what, let's go ahead and put some, let's put some color on that ground. It really shouldn't be like, I've got it looking like dirt, but it should be more like metal plates, so, but going to go behind everything else layer behind everything else and then and then <laughs> let's see Let's try that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's put in some... Let's go in with this watercolor brush and put in some more... Little kind of... Texture dealios. Then I'll blend those in. Little texture dealios, you understand. But they look so nasty. You're just scribbling. It's alright. It's alright. Because I'm going to come in here with the blender. And I'm going to blend it all in. Blend it all in. You know, it's just a little bit of ground. There's a little bit of ground color, so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air there. All right, that's not bad. I like that. Now, if I were to put a background in it, oh yeah, Delio's. If I were to put a background in it, it would probably be like a bunch of computer banks and stuff like that, or. Or maybe the rooftop of Nova Labs with some stylized skyscrapers in the background. Like they're standing on top of this, the roof of Nova Labs looking down on big city. Hmm. It's not something I want to do right now though. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll consider that. This program has a, I can do perspective on this app, so, but I've never used it before. And I'm afraid to do it live on stream because, you know, look a little foolish. Um, what time is it? Well, 
Wow, we wrapped this up in 30 minutes? Let me see, is there anything else I can do? You know, I really don't want to monkey with it if I don't... <laughs> Pardon the expression, Spider Monkey 11. I really don't want to mess around with it if... You know, I may sketch a background into it. I don't know if I want to go too far. I, I, I mean, I hear you out there. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, let me pick a... Get another layer in here. Let me super name this one so I don't forget it. Alright, we'll call this one. Let's do it right. Let's do it right. Duh. Background. Oh, come on. Clip. Clip Studio won't let me say the background. That's all right. We'll do it right. I need to work on my pronunciations anyway. Background. All right. Pencil tool. Let us select. Let's see. Let's go with a rough pencil. So I can rough something in there. And. Use. Use that blue. You know how I like that blue. That throwback from the non-repo pencil on reproductive pencil let's see mm. uh, um the only problem is the horizon line if they're on top of the roof the horizon line is going to be way down there street level so Huh. No, no lab is pretty big, so I think it'd be somewhere around the shoulder area where the look at that. I'm already getting it ass backwards wrong. That's all right. Just sketch it. Just sketch it. That's all you gotta do is just sketch it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work on top. Like, I don't think it's gonna work. <sighs> because the rest of the roof would be coming like this almost. I mean, it almost look like a straight line. And the only thing you'd really get was sky in the background, because Nova's one of the tallest buildings. So, let's forego that idea. And... Yeah. I thought about that. I do have a Actually, in the comic, one of the last pages before I totally dropped the project. Cerebus is actually on top of Nova Labs building. I don't know, maybe... You know, it would be it would be good too. I mean, I think the pumpkin creature was the only picture we actually ever f like fill out with a background at all. So, whoops, whoops. Okay, so maybe they're inside Nova Labs. Come on, damn it! 
See, that's why I switched to using the other software for drawing. So it puts those little marks everywhere. All right. It's all right, just a sketch, just a sketch. It's okay. I gotta loosen up, loosen up, it's just a sketch. throw a ruler down because that's going to aggravate me uh figure ruler what ruler are we set on squire all right that'll fix it I need some more pencil on this thing. Let's go. All right, there. It's going to be a little something, something there. All right. Get rid of this ruler. Now, I do want... I want this to be, so I don't want them just standing near a flat wall. So, and the inside of Nova is all angly and stuff. So, so we'll go there. All right, and then let's put. Go ahead and do like a straight line tool there. Straight line tool right there. All right, so I can see that. All right. Let's get rid of this, all this blue noise. Maybe another. This will be all set. Oh, I, I bet you I'm making y'all dizzy as hell. Sorry. Uh... Right, that'll be good. Oh, Diamond, I've... Well, I wanted to tell you we uh we started watching the new Star Treks. Well, we started watching Picard. Late to the game, I know. So far, I don't see all... So far, I don't have a problem with it. I guess the only thing I might have a problem with is it seems like... Seems like Starfleet like took a major step back. But... To air is human, is it not? Okay. I learned to use the special ruler to line up. Like a, a bank of computer monitors here. Oh no! Oh no!
Uh, what did we get, Sherry? Third episode? Into Picard? Oh, the last one was right when he got... He got the ship to take off to go look for... Data's daughter. So they're just taking off. So yeah, we have a bank of computer monitors. Let's go ahead and get that ruler back. Well, maybe it'll go all the way up. finish watching it uh, we just, just <laughs> my God. I can't believe I'm going to admit to this publicly but we started watching the old uh, was what was it Joe and Carol is that the name of it the show the show about the dramatized show about Tiger King And we're an episode behind on Raised by Wolves. I've been enjoying that one. All right, man. I look up at the computer monitor every now and then. I see I'm just spinning this thing around. Sorry. I mean, that's my process, though, you know. That's my process. All right, let's get some computer monitors in there. So let's put the little... Let's put the... Special ruler back in there. Boom! Got it. Uh, it's difficult. Um, we usually stop to watch some television while we're catching some food. And then I do somewhat shut down at a point at night. But I still have like my drawing stuff with me while I'm on the couch watching stuff. Cause I can't, I just, uh, I can't afford, I can't afford to just sit there and not do anything. I've got way too much to do. And I haven't been sleeping that well. So that's another problem. All 
All right, I don't think that's right. I'm not using perspective lines, so I'm having to eyeball it all. So I better just use a... So if it was over here, I think about right there, that looks right. All right, I'm just putting these lines in so I can see the angles. Sorry, I'll blow it up so you can see it. And of course, these aren't exact. Just, just letting me see roughly the flow of things. Flow of the composition. All right, so that's coming out. going this way yes including this by the way I don't know why that's out all right so the wall runs like this there's like a doorway it skips in to catch that doorway that door jam whatever it is it kind of continues this way and then it cuts in here but then there's a computer console jutting out slightly from the wall and then it finishes off that way so if you can see the little arrows hopefully that all right, Diamond. It's always, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow for sure. All right. Oh, who'll be running the stream? Billy. Billy's going to run it. Lord Thorin has some personal things to do. All right. Oh, look, we filled up the hour almost. Okay, so let's go and call it the hour. I was about to say let's stop it now because I don't want to get too, too far into this in case I change it. So I will likely... So there we are. I'll work on this a little more. I'll try, I'll try not to do any serious stuff on it, but I'll, I'll, I'll pencil in. So let's call it. Alrighty, we made it through another one. Another Monday is in the hole. Started some work on, well, finished the colors on Felix Gray and Spider Monkey 11, then began the process of sketching in Gorilla sketching in a background, which again I'll work on it a little bit between now and Wednesday. Stream will be a touch late on Wednesday because I have something to do with the United Adventure Company. However, it will be there. And as always, as always, you can catch edited versions of these streams on our YouTube channel, Charisma Kills TV. 
You can always check us out online as well at charismakills.com. There's links to all of our social media and stuff on the website. Except for, I don't think we have a link to our Instagram, which I just started messing with about a month ago. And our YouTube. So just remember, charismakills.com. And then Charisma Kills TV on YouTube. And I don't think there's anything else to talk about, really. Other than we'll see you Wednesday.